Well, trapping season's over, and I just wanted to show you all my traps and different stuff I use, so. Here, mink box, weasel box, another mink box, 220 box set. And then I got this for 120, I'll put each spring on each side of this forked stick and shove it in the mud. Another 220 box set. Some muskrat drowners with number one long springs on back there. Uh, weasel box, mink box. Got some fox hole, red fox urine, tail pullers, rabbit snare wire, tail splitter guides, uh, flushing tool, all kinds of scents right there. Oh, uh, we got heavy wire, we got other lighter wire, wire snip, trap tags, uh, sifter, trap setters, just the one spring 220 right there, uh, trapping gloves, got some coil springs and 110s in there, a drowner set which I'll show you how I do them right later after this video, uh, 220 pole set, more sorted traps. I got anti-freeze for foot traps. I got 110s and 220s in that pail. Coil springs, stakes, flags. And over here we got our stretchers and more traps. Some more stretchers. 330s. Another flushing tool. Some C clamps for these big boys. Number five double long spring. Um, got some flushing beams. We got a coyote flushing beam here. Some mink flushing beams here. Just some muskrat flushing beams I made up right there. And then some muskrat flushing beams right there. Now we got some getting into the 330s here. Some 220s there, and some 110s over there. So, 330s, 220s, 110s. Then we just got an apron. Got some beaver stretchers. And then we use um, these spools for stretching the beaver, along with plywood and um. And then we got some other foot traps over here. I got some one Springer 220s. I got a 160 right there. And I got a couple stakes and S hooks in the back there. So that's pretty much my trap and stuff. And, um, oh, I forgot to show you these. Brand new half a dozen 110s there. So that's officially my trap and stuff. Um, I got some. Uh, I got a drowner set that I made up, and they're really cool. So I'll show you how to make them if you want. And All right. So here's that video on the muskrat drowners. This is pretty much just what I made. I just got a Folgers can filled with cement, and I got a little eye hook in there. Got eighth inch cable, which when you bend it just goes back. And then I got one of the cable locks looped around it. And then if you go to the end of the cable, I just got a little 14 inch stake that I drilled the hole in right there, threaded the cable through, and then put a cable clamp on it. And then, number one and a half coil spring goes right to the wire. Got a, um, swivel on it so it swivels and it drowns them at the same time and this is pretty much how it works drive that in the ground put your weight out in deep water pull your clamp back pull go out he doesn't come back so that's my muskrat drowner if you need more information about it then just um let me know and i'll tell you farther information so thanks for watching.